Hey everybody, Yama is here with Out of Metal Forge. Today I am going to be working on actually one of my physically largest projects yet. Um, it is moving into something that I really, really want to get into. Um, you know, making like lanterns and, and light fixtures, lamps and such as that. Um, and in order to do that, I need to move from little pieces of stock to bigger pieces of stock. Um, and I don't mean, you know, heavier, I mean longer, um, more substantial sized stock. Um, this right here is going to be a pot rack. Uh, it is going to be a round oval-ish pot rack. I'm drifting some holes. Um, I'm going to rivet it together. I'm going to forge some uh, small bits of chain. The person who wants it on their ceiling, they want it like three inches from their ceiling. So not quite enough to uh, do a nice bit of forged chain or any sort of decorative chain work. So it's really just going to be some S-hooks, um, you know, maybe some open-end chains, some sort of a, you know, something like that that's going to go onto hooks in the ceiling. Um, and from there, uh, I'm going to wrap it around itself, rivet it together, drift some holes, not necessarily in all that order, <laughs> and, uh, you know, forge some uh, hooks to wrap on it for hooking the chain. Um, I've already went ahead and pre-drilled the holes more for the math. Uh, uh, I really don't want to screw up the math on this one. So instead of doing it all by eye and hot like I usually do, uh, I figured I'd mark some holes and, and just pre-drill them with a you know, small little thing. I still have to drift them out to where they need to be. Um, but in the interest of saving time, you know, I pre-drilled them. Uh, so... On each end, I have two holes drilled, and I will heat up, somehow, heat this up and wrap it around itself and rivet those together after drifting these holes. I have yet to decide if I want to drift them square or if I want, you know, on an, on an angle, uh, like, a, like a diamond, or if I want to drift them round. I may make a quick square drift and do it that. This is one inch, uh, one inch by quarter inch, and I may do some five eighths inch holes, square, round. Not quite sure. Um, we'll see what happens when I actually get to it. But also, in interest of the size of this, as you guys know, my forge doesn't go that far in. I need to be able to get a minimum of three foot in to the thir three foot from the bar end into the fire. So what I've done, I've pulled out the propane forge and I turned that at an angle so that I can fit just over half the bar through. That'll allow me to drift the holes and, and do what I need to do, heat up half the bar and put it in the vise and kind of start the bend or or bend it over the anvil, whatever I'll figure out. I uh, might watch some videos on this one. <laughs> um, now, I've also got the oxyacetylene torch. That may be what I use for riveting, or I may use the coal for riveting. We'll see. Um, part of the process that I'm doing this for is to learn how to do, how to handle larger than forge items. Um, and it is the main reason I got an oxyacetylene torch. So, stay tuned and let's heat some steel and see how this turns out.
Alrighty, so, uh, I can't see you guys. <laughs> so, this was a fun project. I learned a lot. There's a few things that I would do differently. Um, I definitely need to get, you know, some C-clamps to help uh, hold things together while riveting. Um, I have a few, I just don't know where they are. Um, maybe making a jig for something like this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, scrambled and I used a hubcap, but you know, to get the initial bend, and then match the other side on the anvil and on the uh, swedge block. Uh, need to make a swedge block stand. But, all in all, uh, I think the pot rack really came out. Um, it's going to be really close to the ceiling by design. Um, the kitchen that it's going in, uh, the customer wants it uh, real up high. It's a short ceiling. So, um, I only did four uh, S hooks, you know, to hook onto the things. I could always uh, lower it by adding more S hooks, um, add more of these these little, uh, you know, hooks for the flat bar. And uh, I don't have any pots in the shop, but I have these random bits of metal that or for a possible project. And I think, I think it holds. Yeah. So, <laughs> I can't see you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know what I can do better in the comments. Uh, I appreciate any and all feedback. And, uh, yeah. Now, I didn't put a finish on this because I'm going to hit it with a wire wheel. The customer wants to paint it gold or like a, a bronze kind of color. So, eh, let her do it. Cool. 
Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it, and I will probably be, probably be doing more of these uh, down the line. They're kind of fun. So, hearts and health. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.